So before we begin this setup guide, again, I'm gonna let you know that this guide is for PC handhelds that aren't properly set up as PC handhelds like the ANEO Next Lite. I will get into that later on. Now, if you have an Asus Rogue Ally or Ally X, you can follow this if you want to. It'll still work just the same, except you don't have to do the last two steps that I'm gonna be doing in this video guide. Now, the first thing you have to do though, to make sure that we are on the proper version is to go to your Windows updates and then make sure that you have the option for Windows Update 25 H2. Now, there are some people that say that there's issues with this version. I'm gonna let you know that as well. Now, that's up to you if you wanna download this and continue forth. I haven't had any issues. I haven't noticed any issues. I don't have any problems with it. I've been using it for over a week now, and I also installed it on multiple other devices. So again, up to your discretion. Now that my PC is fully up to date, we can navigate to these websites right here. They are linked in the description below, of course, so that you can get these very quickly and easily. Now this tool right here is very important. So we need to get the one that says intelamd.zip and download it. Wait for it to download, and then you're going to download this PS Tool Suite. You're going to also download, another option is this one right here, which is Fizz Panel, okay? So make sure you don't select the Arch one, make sure you select the Windows one for x86 and 64 handhelds. Now, navigate to your downloads folder, and you're going to extract those three files. So make sure you extract every one of them into just the downloads folder, it's very straightforward. Now I'm gonna uncheck the show extracted option and then the Vive tool. Now the Vive tool is the very first tool that we're going to be working with. Now you can delete these other zip files, so make sure that you don't delete the folders that we just extracted and then we can have these locations very easily. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go open up the command center. So command prompt, and you need to open this up as an administrator. There it is right there. Now this PC is slow as all can be, but there it is, <laughs> running that as an administrator. And there we go. Not sure why that was being kind of weird. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is go CD, and then what you're gonna do is right click on the Vive tool folder, and you're gonna go copy path, and you're going to paste that path right here. So now inside of here, we're gonna copy and paste, I put this in a notepad for you, some certain commands, okay? So we're gonna copy and paste this command right here. So the first one is to enable a certain feature. So we're gonna copy this one, which is for Vive tool, and paste it, and then press enter. Now you're gonna do the same thing with the next one, which is this one right here, and paste it and press enter. Okay, now we're going to restart the PC. Now that the PC is restarted, we can continue forth with the next step. So this next step is going to involve us to go to a specific location in our registry editor. Okay, so search for registry editor, which is right here, and click yes, and you're gonna to go to H local machine. You're gonna to go to software, you're gonna look for Microsoft. Now you're gonna scroll down until you see Windows NT. Keep going, keep going, which is right here. Go to current version and look for OEM, which is right here. And if you don't see an option right here that says device form right here, then right click, click new and go to D word 32 bit and type in device form. Now enter on it and type in to E. Press okay and then restart your PC again. Now this last step is the very last step. We're going to open up our command prompt as administrator again, like run it as administrator, click yes. And then we're going to CD into the Fizz tools or the PS tools is what we ended up downloading. Uh, PS tools and then we're gonna set up the Fizz panel. So click on this, right click and grab the pop path. So copy as path, go to CD, paste. And now what we're gonna do is paste in another command. So go to the notepad or your notepad. I ended up putting the commands in a text document for you, which is right here. So p sex sc dash s dash i there we go and click agree now this part's going to be a little bit tricky for some people okay so that's why i put this in here is this code right here basically what you're going to do is replace this path with your path of that folder that we created uh, which is the fizz panel folder right here so right click on this click copy as path and then you're going to replace all of this right here with that path get rid of the end quotation mark, go forward slash fizz panel dot exe, just like so, okay? And then you're gonna copy that file or that path again, that command, right click on it, copy, go back to your 
command prompt, so the one that just opened up, this one right here, and paste that and press enter. Now, as long as it says successfully, we can restart the computer for the very last time. Now you can navigate to your settings. So settings, now settings windows should open up here. Okay, now that our PC has restarted, you're gonna go to settings and then go to gaming. Now you need to go to the full screen experience, click this drop down and select Xbox. Now again, if you don't have the Xbox app installed, then you need to have that installed. Check this off if you wanna enter into the full screen experience when you restart the app. And then we're gonna restart the device for the very last time. And yeah, I know I said that I was going to do it the last time, but it's going to do it itself. Launching Xbox, now you turned your PC handheld into an Xbox. You have to sign into your account, by the way. Um, you don't really have to have to, but you have to if you wanna access your apps, okay? You can still browse everything. You can open it up and stuff, as you can see here. It's just, you won't be able to actually go in and use all your games and stuff like that unless you buy them you can play solitaire unless you have games on your device you don't have to really sign into it but that's about it now again it's going to be a better experience when you have a controller because your controller is going to allow you to use the xbox gaming app the way that you would want to